Namaskaram. Welcome to the course Basics of Electronics. In this video, we will be discussing about five important topics related to capacitors. First one, what is capacitor and why it is used in electronic industry. Second one, the engineering applications of capacitors. Third one, what are the three different applications that we can take as example to explain about capacitors. Fourth one, how to calculate the capacitance value and its voltage rating. Fifth one, what are the types of capacitors and how to select one for your project. So let's start. What is a capacitor and why it is used in electronic industry? First of all, capacitor is an electronic passive component which is used for storing electrical energy in the form of electric charge. The SI unit for capacitor is farads. Based on the value, we will be adding a prefix to it like microfarad, nanofarad and picofarad etc. If we want to know why these capacitors are used in electronic industry, then it is endless talk. However, the major concept of using capacitors are for filtering purpose. In case of power supplies, power electronics, these capacitors are used for filtering a DC voltage from the AC component. And these capacitors are also used in a timing circuits like triple five timer while designing a multi vibrators. Capacitors are most widely used in electronic industry with a wide variety of applications. We'll discuss more about them in the coming section. Engineering Applications of Capacitor First of all, when capacitor comes into a picture, power electronics being the first point. Whenever we are designing a DC power supply, we will be using a rectifier, transformer and regulators as a normal component to convert AC voltage into a DC voltage. However, capacitor plays a vital role of filtering a pulsating DC voltage into a pure DC voltage, which is always used in between rectifier and a regulator. Hence, capacitor is very valuable in case of a small scale power supply design to the large scale SMPS. In audio system, capacitor plays a very vital role of blocking the DC noise and allowing only audio signal. A series of capacitors or series parallel combination of capacitor network is especially used for filtering out the noise in the audio signal. So, capacitors are very essential in audio video system. Most of the digital electronic circuits are in need of PWM signal, which is pulse width modulation. And these timing circuits or these timing pulses are generated by a triple five timer IC related circuits. And those particular timings are controlled by resistor and capacitor. So, capacitor plays a vital role in setting up the timing constant for the pulse generation. Not to mention, most of the capacitors are used in motor controls or motor driver circuits, where they will be responsible for avoiding the humming effect with respect to the motors when they are rotating in very high frequency. So all in all, capacitors are very essential in entire electronic industry, be it at electrical level or electronic level. So capacitors are having a wide range of applications in electronic industry. Example applications for capacitor circuit. Let us consider three very fundamental examples to explain how exactly capacitor plays a vital role in electronic industry. First one is a timing circuit using a triple five timer. Triple five timer is a digital integrated circuit which is available in SMD as well as through whole component level. This IC is being used for generating a pulse width modulation signal for various applications in electronic industry. This is how the circuit of pulse width modulation generator using triple five timer looks like. Using this IC, we can configure in three different architecture. One is a stable multivibrator, bistable multivibrator and monostable multivibrator. The capacitor used in this particular circuit is very responsible for controlling the T on and T off cycle. Not only capacitor, even resistor above there, both are responsible for timing circuits. This is the one of the widely used application circuit in digital electronics. Second application is a filter circuit using a capacitor. 
In every electronic circuit, there will be a power supply which will generate a required amount of voltage and current for the circuit. You cannot imagine any circuit without any power source, right? In case of a non-portable, non-battery operated devices, a capacitor plays a vital role of filtering out a AC component in the DC output circuit. So you can get the pure DC output at the circuit so that you can operate the entire circuit without flickers. In case of AC to DC converters, capacitors plays a vital role as I already mentioned to avoiding the AC pulse in the DC circuit which directly helps us to operate the entire DC circuit without any flicker or noise in the system. In case of an audio video system, capacitor plays a vital role of filtering out noises which are available in the DC component. Third application is voltage doubler circuits using a capacitor. In the electronic industry, when we are designing a certain systems, we need to step up the voltage than the input voltage. Say for example, we will be having a 5 volt input, but we want a 15 volt or a 20 volt output. On that case, if the step up transformers for the required circuit is not available, then we can use a capacitor as a doublers, which will double the input voltage to the required level. There are various circuits available for voltage doublers with respect to capacitors and diodes. AC doublers and DC doublers are more popular name widely used in this industry. In case of a special scenario, we can see that voltage triplers are also available by using a capacitors. So capacitors are widely used in the high voltage generation with a low voltage input. Now let's talk about how to calculate the capacitance value and its voltage rating with respect to power supply. To make it easy for our understanding, I am considering a plus 5 volt DC power supply as an example to understand how to calculate the capacitance value and its voltage. The formula is very straightforward, which is C is equal to I into T divided by VPP, wherein I is a current that we want to see at the load level. T is the time duration of discharging of this particular capacitor with respect to the AC input signal. If you are having a 50 Hz AC input signal, which is very common in India, then this value will come to 10 millisecond. VPP is a voltage from peak to peak of the pulsating DC voltage. Let us consider we have a 12012 transformer at the input side, which is responsible for converting 220 volt AC into 12012 AC at the output side. Now we are using a 12012 terminals directly, which is nothing but a 24 volt peak to peak voltage. A bridge rectifier will consume 1.4 volt at one half cycle because two diodes will be conducting at the same part of the time. So we will be left with a 22.6 volt. Now we will be having a 7805 regulator, which is having a recommended minimum voltage at the input side to produce a 5 volt is 7 volt. So the voltage at the input of a regulator should be ranging between 7 volt to 22.6 volt. Considering the difference between these two voltage is nothing but a VPP, which comes down to 15.6 volt. Now using a formula, we can calculate what is the exact value of a capacitance for this particular configuration. So approximately it comes down to 641 microfarads. Of course, considering a 30% of factor of safety, it goes up to 833 microfarads, which is generally not available in market. That's why we will be using a 1000 microfarad capacitor. This is how easy to calculate the capacitance value for power supply. Now let us look into how to calculate the voltage rating for this particular capacitor. In general, we will be going with the double of the voltage across this particular capacitor. As we already know that the maximum voltage across this capacitor is 22.6 volt and minimum voltage should be 7 volt. So doubling the 22.6 volt will come to 44.2 volt. Again, 44.2 volt capacitors will not be available in market. So it is always good to go with a 50 volt capacitor. If not available, then 35 volt capacitor is also okay. So anything ranging from 35 volt to 50 volt is a good choice for this particular selection. So with this all calculation, we finalized for this particular circuit, we are using a 1000 microfarad 35 volt or 50 volt capacitor right now. Now let us talk about types of capacitor and how to select one for your project. First of all, there are plenty of types of capacitors available in electronic industry. Majorly, they are categorized into two types. One is electrolytic capacitor, another one is ceramic capacitor. 
Again, based on the physical dimension and how they are soldered on the PCB, they are categorized as SMD capacitor and through hole capacitors. In electrolytic capacitor, again there are three types. One is aluminium, another one is tantalum and the third one is niobium. Based on the value of the capacitor, there are two types. One is fixed value capacitor, another one is variable value capacitor. In case of a high frequency filtering, there are a different variety of capacitors are used with respect to series parallel combination to achieve a desired result. And there is a possibility that we are using an electrolytic and a ceramic capacitor in combination with the same circuit. So whenever you are selecting a capacitor for your application, it is necessary that you have to understand the need of the capacitor and the type of capacitor to be selected. In case of industrial SMPS design, we will be considering equivalent series resistance, equivalent series inductance, capacitance density, thermal characteristic, voltage characteristic and also cost of the capacitor while selecting one. I hope you enjoyed the entire detailed tutorial about capacitors in electronic industry. See you again in the next video. Happy learning. Namaskaram.